Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, everybody. Apologies, I have a slight cold, so if my voice sounds nasally and congestly, I'm so sorry about that. But we have a quick Epic Universe update here from Bio Reconstruct. In, the, in a couple weeks, we'll do a full one, but we got a quick one over here. And let's start off with the hotels. Moving on to the, the Star, uh, Terra Luna and Stella Nova hotels. The sister hotels is like Surfside and Dockside Inn type of situation. Believe it or not, this is the second hotel. The first one was already completely stopped out. Why? Still got some exterior and interior work to do. And they're working on the pool, but this is the second tower. Building, doing that prefab um, building they're doing. So they built the floors and the rooms off site. Then they place them in like Legos onto the actual site. And that's why these two are being built so dang quickly. And look at this the first floor is already well underway here on the second hotel. Going to the in park hotel. Uh, things are moving a bit slower, but the parking garage, the S parking garage is almost fully done. And the hotel itself, they've moved on to the first floor, which is good. And when they get past the lobby and everything into the actual room levels, then it's pretty repetitive. The It should go much faster. Like, so probably like from level 2 or 3 up to the top, it should be much faster because it's just the same repetitive floor plan versus the lobby and the amenities and the convention center or whatever. First two floors of hotels, there's, there's all these different floor plans, so those take a little bit longer and they're a little bit taller. The rooms itself, the floor, the rooms of the floor are shorter, so they'll be a little bit quicker. So I, I, I expect in a couple months, this whole thing will start shooting up and we'll get to the level of the other ho two hotels at the end of summer. Looking over this AO overview of the how to train your dragon site, oh wow. What progress do we have here? Lots and lots of stuff. You can see over by the number one there, the roller coaster launch. This gets into one of its final launches over there. And some foundations for some flat rides as well. And lots of walkways going through, like at number two and three. That's so number four. You can see the bridge is done where the roller coaster will swoop underneath. And the statues, both of them are painted in the lake area. There's some a retail or restaurant. Um, spot being built right next to that lake as well. You can actually see the entire layout of the How to Train Your Dragon Coaster and it start at, starts at the number 5 up there. That's the station and that is the uh, like this little barn like structure. Probably the barn that maybe Hiccup hides Toothless in in the initial in the first film. That's what I feel like I'm getting those vibes there. You can even see by the Great Hall restaurant, which in the purpose call they call Meat Hall. Thanks to Alicia Stella for pointing that out. The left of that, you see a barn-like structure as well. That is rumored to be the exit of the coaster with a gift shop attached to that, the Great Hall restaurant. But yeah, at number five, that's where the start of the coaster is. That's the station. It could be coming out of there, launching away, going throughout the entire land nearly, swooping around. It's very much a family coaster. Uh, so definitely not like Starfall Racers, but yeah, definitely a family coaster for everyone. And it'll act, it'll give some great kinetic energy to the entire land. Combine that with all the flat rides and all the animatronics. And there maybe I'm sure there'll be some dragons breathing fire. Quite the kinetic energy going on in that land, which is pretty freaking awesome. The entrance portal has no theming yet, but I'm sure that will be coming very, very soon. Again, this is the largest land, probably about 14 acres of the whole theme of the whole theme park. So, had a lot to work on before that, uh, before they go to the entrance portal. But I'm sure they'll have plenty, plenty of theming as well. Also, permits have been filed thanks to Alicia Stella showing us about the Great Hall, the Mead Hall restaurant being encased in a mountain, a forced perspective mountain, just like in the movie. So that's pretty awesome. Let's go out of the Isle of Burke and move over to some spacey areas. Yes, the hub has um, very much lots of progress on their two attractions. You can see the water carousel, uh, the rumored water carousel, a water type ride, it's a water flat ride, um, has lots of support for and pillars for the glass enclosed structure. They'll be encasing it and lots of water pumps on the bottom of the attraction in the dirt there. Um, giving credits that there'll be this will be some kind of water, maybe a mock a water carousel type ordeal going in there. The water also will be spilling into the nearby lake that this will be overlooking. Looking at Starfall Racers, the other attraction in the hub, that one has lots uh, of progress and obviously is way more complex than the water uh, carousel type of attraction. And 
even though there's a lot more happening to it, there's a, there's a, it's, it's really moving, a moving at a rapid clip. I see at the number one, you see there's some supports with some track being way to being uh, ready to be installed there. And at the number two is actually the How to Train Your Dragon Coaster. And it's funny because you can see how small the Dragon Coaster is compared to the Starfall Racers Coaster. So you can find that definitely the Dragon Coaster is much more family friendly than the hyper intense Starfall Racers. And let's actually take a look at that Celestial Spin element that has been installed. That's the tallest portion of the coaster, the tallest portion of the park as well. Yeah, look at this crazy element here. This is a mock patented, patented element here just for this coaster. This is a brand new element never before seen on any roller coaster before. This is called the Celestial Spin. It's just like the Mosasaurus roll, you know, another patented element barrel from Intamin. This is the Celestial Spin. And both coasters, those coaster chains will rise up and kind of flip around over and under each other and just kind of snake around each other and then continue through the course. I mean, look how insane this element is. That's like, that's like incredible. I mean, you think the top hats to the left are pretty insane, but wow, the Celestial Spin is just even crazier. Just crazy. Uh, I cannot wait to see these trains testing in action together. And I wonder, it looks like maybe a high five element can potentially be there It'll be too far away but we'll have to see the trains are actually testing in action as we move towards the back of the coast you can see how truly massive it is as there's still a lot more track to be installed on the upper sections and those lower sections in the bottom of the picture and maybe even more support i don't know there's i see some foundations over there it could be for something else but that would be crazy i mean this is just a massive roller coaster I mean, look at this thing humongous and that looks like another massive element um yeah i think there will be more supports to be installed because uh, that's a, yeah, this thing is gonna really gonna wrap around. Yeah, this is gonna be uh, truly, truly not for the faint of heart, this roller coaster here. And here's a more aerial shot of the roller coaster. Yeah, wow. There's a whole backside of supports and track to be installed here. Dumps looks like the coaster even isn't even halfway uh, done in terms of the track being installed. Because then yeah, it loops all the way to the back, off the screen, comes back around. And yeah, a lot of the supports are there, but no track, and there's a lot of foundation there, but no supports. So yeah, they, they got a long way to go for this coaster, but they've gotten such a lot of progress done already. You see the final brake run over there, uh, both of them chilling as you go back into the uh, station. But yeah, this is this thing will be a beast, like a literal mighty beast. This is very exciting. I cannot wait to see this in person. See? Checking in on the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, you can see a lot of the roof tiles are being installed on those upper facades, They're looking fantastic. And see, they're about like five stories tall, so this will be a massive in scale. They're standing there. See where the arrow is? They're gonna be that's gonna be a forced perspective per facade. There'll be nothing behind it. This is where that rumored second attraction was going to go, but it got canceled. And say, so yeah, there'll just be forced pers forced perspective facades and then room for expansion later on down the line. Uh, show, building, the theater, and the uh, main attraction are fully in enclosed, they're ready to roll, and even permits are being filed for the flu network, rumored flu network, that they'll use in the queue, which will be cool as well. And you can see there's even some tiny hidden spaces to explore from this aerial, and it'll be very much like Diagon Alley, but like a bigger version. The level of Wizarding World of Harry Potter lands, and uh, this is shaping up to be just as subversive as the other two, that are other yeah, other two that are out there. So I'm very excited for that. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of this Epic Universe update? What do you think about how fast this park is rising? In the next update, we'll get to Super Nintendo World and the Classic Monsters area. So if you're wondering about those, just subscribe and wait a couple weeks. And guess yeah, so what? We'll have an update on for you on those very soon. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. In the comments below, what's your favorite land? What are you most anticipated? What's your most anticipated favorite ride? Um, how about that coaster? Starfall Racers looks pretty insane, huh? Once again, sorry for the slight cold. Thanks for keeping with me and bearing with me. Thanks for all the support and all the subscriptions. And I know some of you watch to say you watch every video or most of them, so thank you for doing that. It really helps out the channel. And really, I appreciate all of you who do that. Subscribe, like this video, and as always, have an epic day.